Hey guys, there's something I want to show you that I didn't put at the, at the top of this video. We're getting ready to do the back window, but the first thing you want to do, and this is really important, when we just took the, the aluminum out of the bag, you can see that it doesn't fit the curvature of the window. This is paramount important. So before you put this aluminum trim into the rubber, you want to manipulate it, slightly bending it, so that the aluminum sits identical to the groove of the rubber. And what will happen is if you don't do that, you'll have raised areas. You'll have raised areas on it where it just won't go into the rubber. So step one is to mold this to the rubber. Perfectly. Perfectly. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, guys, here we are. Now, I've worked the aluminum, and it should, let me get it in focus. This is what it should look like once you're, once you're finished. You want to make sure there's no gaps. There's no gaps in it. I don't know if you could see it. Between the rubber and the chrome. Between the rubber and the chrome. It should fit like a glove. And that way, you won't have any problems. This is not a push-in piece of chrome like... A guy on YouTube who actually owns a company that sells this stuff, we won't mention any names, Carmen Gear Parts and Restoration, um, said it is not a push in. You definitely have to pre fit the aluminum, get the get the curvature of the aluminum Perfect. to lay perfectly flat on the rubber, and that way you won't be fighting it. But it does look beautiful. By the way, this is not the die cast, the plastic one that's chrome plated, this is solid aluminum. So you'll, you'll have a good working room with it. Hopefully we'll, the next video, clip, clip part will actually show us putting it in. It'll be done. And the front window is done. Looking good on the car. See ya.